Hey everyone, it's John from My Solar Home. Today we're exploring a game changer in clean energy storage, sand batteries. These innovative systems are making renewable power reliable, even months later. Stick around because by the end, you'll understand how sand batteries could reshape the future of solar and wind energy. Right now, lithium batteries are everywhere. They power our phones, our electric cars, even the backup systems that keep homes running during outages. They are our go-to choice for energy storage. And for good reason. They pack a lot of energy into a small space, they recharge quickly, and they work in almost any situation. But here's the big question. Are lithium-ion batteries really the best long-term solution? Let's break it down. Lithium-ion batteries are popular because they're efficient and versatile. They've become the backbone of modern energy storage, whether it's EVs, home solar systems, or even stabilizing the power grid. But there's always a catch. Lithium isn't infinite. Mining it takes a huge toll. It's energy intensive. It can destroy habitats, drain local water supplies, and create pollution. And when these batteries aren't recycled properly, they turn into toxic waste. Really, really harmful for the environment. Now, as demand for lithium skyrockets, the pressure is on to find better, cleaner alternatives. So in this video, we're going to be diving into the pros and cons of the sand battery and what the future of battery tech could look like beyond lithium. What is a sand battery? Sand batteries aren't what you think. They don't store electricity directly. Instead, the enormous amount of electricity generated by solar farms and wind turbines is used to heat the sand. Sand acts like a thermal battery. You can store massive amounts of electrical energy by heating sand up to 600 degrees Celsius. Now, when you need heat or electricity, you release it. And it isn't science fiction. It's happening in Finland. Meet Bornein in Finland, a town of 5,000 and home to the world's largest sand battery, a silo 49 feet wide and 42 feet tall, filled with 2,000 tons of heated soapstone. It can hold up to 100 megawatt hours of thermal energy. That's enough heat to heat the town's homes for weeks, replacing oil boilers and cutting 70% of heating emissions. The sand battery is a game changer projected to slash annual CO2 emissions from Pornainan's local heating network by about 160 tons. That's nearly a 70% cut in climate pollution. Miko Pajanen, CEO of the district, put it best. Our goal is to be climate neutral by 2035. And the sand battery is a huge leap towards making that happen. With this system online, oil use in Pornainan's heating network is gone completely phased out. Residents are throwing out their old oil boilers. Plus, wood chip consumption is slated to drop by around 60%. The old biomass boiler, though isn't going anywhere, is going to stay as a backup to help out during peak demand. So this isn't just incremental progress. It is a major step forward in how we think about renewable heating and energy storage. So how does this work? There are three phases, charging, storage, and discharging. Charging begins with surplus solar or wind electricity heating air to over 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. The superheated air is made to circulate around pipes buried in the sand. The sand gets superheated to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, and now the battery is fully charged. Next, we have storage. Here's where the magic happens. Sand is absolutely fantastic at holding on to the heat for months on end with minimal loss. Efficiency ranges in the 85 to 90% range. That takes care of storage. And finally, we have discharging. When heat is needed, cool air is heated by circulating it in the hot sand and then it's fed into the district's heating systems or into other industrial processes. The battery is on course for a 2026 rollout of a full power to heat to power cycle when the heat is converted back into electricity. Right now, we use the heat only to heat homes. 
This battery has an AI-driven solution that automatically identifies the most economically viable moment to charge or discharge the sand battery. This brings the district's significant savings and revenue, making the sand battery a truly profitable investment. So why is this a game changer? Sand, crushed soapstone in this case, is abundant, cheap, stable, non-toxic, perfect for scalable energy storage. Unlike lithium ion, it's eco-friendly, durable, requires no rare minerals, and does not require expensive recycling to remove toxins. In addition, the sand battery is very low maintenance. Unlike lithium batteries, there is no need for complex cooling, special storage requirements for the battery, or special recycling. The sand battery does not require a complex battery management system, something that you can't do without with lithium batteries. So where do sand batteries shine? They're really ideal for district heating systems, like we saw in Finland. They're great for industrial heat, like driving hot steam based processes in industries. Grid stabilization is another thing. Charging when electricity is cheap and discharging when demand spikes. Now remote and island grids are another area where conventional infrastructure is scarce. And sand batteries do very well. They're not designed for rapid response or EV charging. That's where lithium ion still rules. But for long duration storage, sand batteries are really revolutionary. The economics are another area where sand batteries shine. They have a lower cost per megawatt hour than lithium ion at grid scale. And their lifespan is measured in decades, not just years. They use industrial byproducts, so they also contribute to the circular economy. Everything is used and reused. The Finland sand project cut fossil fuel usage by 60 to 70 percent, showing what a huge carbon footprint reduction this technology can manage. But there are challenges ahead. The hurdle is efficiency when you convert the heat back into current. They store heat well, but converting heat back into electricity still incurs losses. Infrastructure is another piggy. We need to have big, large heated sand silos, and building heat exchange networks is in trivial. It requires upfront capital. Right now, it's early days with the technology, but there have been some outstanding early wins. Global investment and adoption is not going to be difficult. So the future outlook is that this is already proved to be a viable and replicable technology. Finland already has plans for a 2 megawatt, 200 megawatt hour battery and a 10 megawatt hour, 1 gigawatt hour installation after the success of Porninen's 1 megawatt, 100 megawatt hour battery. The future points towards hybrid models with sand playing a pivotal part. They will combine with solar farms, community microgrids, and they'll create climate smart, resilient energy for towns and industries. With power to heat to power being ready by 2026, they could even help supply electricity on cloudy days. They're perfect for places where renewables are booming, but storage is lagging. So that is the story of sand batteries. Simple, affordable, and ready to flip the energy storage game. If you're excited about the future of renewable energy, hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon to stay tuned. I've got videos on lithium ion, gravity and more check them out you might like my recent video on the best home solar batteries stay watching see you on the next 